Hey everyone, I am super stoked for this video because today we have Lizzie Pierce joining us. Hello. And we're gonna give you guys some great tips on how to take awesome photos right at home. Now, Lizzie is the perfect person to help with this video because she is a photographer, a videographer. She owns her own creative business. Like seriously, I, I don't know, you're the make perfect me, person. Make me sound really cool. Yeah, yeah I, don't, cool. I don't know, no, she, <laughs> she definitely is. You should check her out. Uh, but today we are gonna talk about how you can take awesome photos right at home. Now you travel all the time. We travel a lot, and this is probably the first time we've actually had a real home base, Chris and I, the two of us. So this is our home, we recently moved in. And as you can see, like this living area is pretty much set up, kind of, sort of getting there, but the other two rooms really are not. They're a disaster. They're a disaster. <laughs> they're <laughs> they're yeah. full of boxes. There's like boxes everywhere. Um, but yeah, a lot of people think that you have to rely on the location you're in to create a really epic and amazing artistic photo and you don't always need that so what we're gonna do today is go over a few ideas and great techniques that you can use to take photos right at home so tip number one is to use angles to create a unique perspective so for the first photo we actually did it right on this couch here right where we are right now. now in this example we walk around our apartment we see everything from eye level all the time so when we can change the angle that we're looking at that couch, which is what we did in this case, we can show the photo actually. Yeah. That was a bad snap. Yes. That was better. There we go. There we go. Um, what we did in this case was we actually just did a top down of the couch. And what that did is because it created a different perspective of the couch and the texture on it, it actually ended up becoming a really great background for the subject, which in this case was Lucy. So, what you want to always be doing is think of how you can take a photo differently than how everyone else is taking it. And in this case, we used the top down. All it did was create a different perspective and we were able to take a different style of photo than maybe someone else would do. So it's, it's just about thinking differently and about separating your work from the rest. So I just thought everyone should know that in the background, this is happening. I'm cozying and building shoe racks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... So this is how you can utilize space, you know? Just build a shoe rack in the background and do a little photo shoot here. Wait, here's a really bad dad joke. Quickly rack focus to this. Oh, get out! Get out! Oh, get out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Tip number two! In... <laughs> is my hair okay? In... Is my hair okay? Okay, tip number two. Tip number two, in small, ugly spaces, use depth and <laughs> cover it up. <laughs> Sometimes there's really like not much to use in a space, so no, we just put a sheet over it. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> this style of photo that we took was actually inspired by Sorella Moore and her advanced selfie, mm -hmm. where she did a very similar thing. She put herself under a sheet and then reached out towards the camera. Why we decided this would be a really good tip and technique to show you guys is because everybody has a sheet yeah. on their bed. Mm -hmm and everybody has a window or something nearby and it doesn't matter what your apartment or your house looks like because all you have to do is throw a sheet over it. Yeah, it works. exactly. And the really interesting thing to kind of make a shot like this kind of more intriguing to look at is the depth element. So when Lizzie had her hand out, that looked really, really interesting. And then because the sheet actually goes all the way along to the lens of the camera where I was holding it, it's kind of like looking down a narrow hallway and then the sheet and my hand reaching out ended up like framing me. So yeah, use depth in your photos to make them more interesting. Tip number three. Embrace white walls. So the best thing about a white wall is that it's a completely blank slate and you can do absolutely anything you want with it. Exactly, so you can use it to really highlight what your subject is. So in the photos that we did, that white wall just basically was like the minimalist background and then we could focus on the flowers, which was kind of the prop of the yeah. shot or we could focus on the pose. We really used props to kind of dress up the white wall. So you wore glasses at one point, mm -hmm. which was pretty cool. We had the flowers that Lucy was holding, and then we actually added some depth when she stuck the flowers right out, or she actually at one point covered, you covered your face with yeah. the flowers, which kind of told a, a bit of a story yeah. behind it. Not sure what the story was saying, but it was cool. <laughs> I don't know what the story it was, cool. was, but there it was, was a very, story. Content. It was very minimalist. But I think the other thing is, is that a white wall kind of makes you be creative because now you're not thinking about the background 
And so I think that's the whole reason why we're like, why don't we try this weird thing with the flowers yeah. like, covering? Yeah. I don't think in yeah. another setup we would have come up with that idea. Yeah, you're 100% focused on your subject and what your model is doing. Mm -hmm. And that really forces you to think and to get creative and to just try different things and try maybe a style that you don't do very often because I think a lot of people really rely on the location that they're in and yeah. this is one perfect scenario where you're not doing that at all so you're really really focused on the pose, the model, the props and your lighting. Alright, so I hope that we inspired you guys to start thinking about how you can take amazing photos right at home. Yeah, and the most important thing is that you get creative, you try to think differently, and at the end of the day, just try shit. Yeah, just, just try shit. Now the other thing I want to mention is that photos like this are really made in the edit. And for these photos, we really embrace that kind of vintage editing style, which looks awesome. So, if you want to learn how to actually edit photos like that, guess what? Lizzie made a video about it. Yeah. And that video is up right now. On my channel. So like, scoot over there. We'll yeah. wait. We'll wait, like We're go waiting. scroll, description. description, her channel is linked, click it, Yeah. go watch that, hit subscribe button, yeah. and uh, yeah, no, yeah. you post amazing videos though, like Thank I am you. seriously blown away by the content that this Lizzie girl. posts, no, no, Your this girl, are great. this yeah. girl, oh my god, this, my, this my, my girl right here, <laughs> we're actually, this isn't like a one, in like a blue moon collab, no. we're actually friends and we've been friends for a long time, and it's we've actually very friends. strange that it's taken this long for no. us to well, do we're this. Both, we're, we're just, this is gonna be like a little vent thing now. Yeah, we might do this more often. We do you guys do want, do you like this? Mm -hmm. Do you like Do you like our, our, our chemistry? Yeah, yeah. Let us do know you? in the description. Lizzie and in Lucy Show. In the description. Show. Let us know in the comments <laughs> below. The comments. <laughs> Hashtag Lizzie and Lucy Show if you want more. All right guys, peace out. <laughs> <laughs> no.